Um, so I'm going to go through the exercises so you guys can check your answers and see what you did wrong. So first question. Uh, three over four times two over five. So this one you're just going to times along the tops and then times along the bottoms. So we're going to get six over 20, which will um, simplify to give you three over 10. Question two. Uh, 2 plus 3 over 5, so we need to find a common denominator. Um, so we're going to turn 2 into a number of fifths, and I know 1 is going to be 5 fifths, so 2 would be 10 over 5, plus 3 over 5, which gives us 13 over 5. Uh, next question, 3 over 2 divided by... One over four. So when you're dividing by fractions, you're going to flip the second fraction, so it's going to be the same as three over two times four over one. And then we can just times along the tops and times along the bottoms. So you get 12 over two, which is six. Okay, next one, uh, two over seven over four. These always look quite horrible, so we're going to write this out instead as two over seven divided by four which is the same as 2 over 7 times 1 over 4, doing the same thing, flipping the fraction, which gives us 2 over 28, which is 1 over 14. Okay, next one, uh, question 5, so 3x over 5, times 4 gives us 12x, we're times in the tops, and you can imagine this is 4 over 1, so 5 times 1 over 5, so 12 over 5x. Uh, question 6, 1 over x plus 2 over x, well they've already got a common denominator, so we'll say this is over x, and add the tops, so we get 3 over x. Question 7, 5 over 3 over 2, well, we'll write this one out like we did last time as well. 5 divided by 3 over 2, which is the same as 5 times 2 over 3. So times the tops, 10, times the bottoms, 3, so we get 10 over 3. Okay, question 8, 2 thirds over three quarters, so we're going to write that as two over three divided by three over four. Flip this one, so we get two thirds times four thirds, so we get eight on top, nine on the bottom, so eight ninths. Question nine gets a little bit more difficult now, so we might need some more space for this. Uh, 3 over 8 divided by 1 over 4 times by 2x over 3. So first of all, we're going to work out this bracket. So we're going to do 3 over 8 times, flip this one again, 4 over 1, which gives us 12 over 8. And now we're going to times that by the other bracket, 2x over 3. So times the tops, times the bottoms, so we're going to get 24x over 8 times 3, which is also 24. Those are going to cancel, leaving us with x. Right, question 10. So you got 3 over x plus 2 over x squared. <coughs> okay, so in order to add these together, you need a common denominator. Um, easiest way to do that, we've got x squared here, we've got x here, so if we times the whole of this fraction by x squared on top and x squared on bottom, we'll have the common denominator of x squared. So we're going to have 3x over x squared, because I've times this one by x squared, or sorry, times by x, added to 2 over x squared. Now we can add the tops, so we get 2 plus 3x over x squared. Right, question 11, uh, so we've got 3 over 2 
times 1 over 4 plus 3. We'll worry about the plus 3 in a minute. So times these together, 3 over 8 plus 3. Again, we need a common denominator similar to what we did up here. So denominator of 8 would be good. Um, so if we times this fraction by 8 over 8, we're going to get 3 over 8 plus 24 over 8, which gives me 27 over 8. Right, last one. Two x plus seven over two, take three fifths. So we again need to find a common denominator. So the best common denominator for two and five is going to be times them together to get a common denominator of 10. So if we times this uh, fraction by five and times this fraction by two. So we're gonna get five lots of two x plus seven minus three lots of two all over 10, which gives us 10x plus 35, take 6 over 10, which is 10x plus 29 over 10. Cool. All right, if you need to go over any of this again, you can either rewind, pause the video, slow the video down, um, or reread through the notes and look at some of the additional resources that we got linked in the uh, Getting Started workbooklet. Thanks.